Hindu, I don't know what I call it, page on the precipice, I'm start with the song from my mother's womb. You have chosen me, love has called my name. I've been born again into your family, your blood flows through my hands. I am no longer a slave to fear. I am a child of God. God takes care of his own. But I know that sometimes you can look as if you're actually placed on the precipice and that you can actually, you know, fall headlong. And this is when God actually comes through, just at the nick of time. Uh, let's go to 2 Corinthians 1, verse 8. For we do not want you to be ignorant brethren of our trouble, which came to us in Asia, that we're burdened beyond measure, above strength, so that we despaired even of life. Yes, we are descendants of death in ourselves, that we should not trust in ourselves, but in God who raises the dead, who delivered us from so great a death, and does deliver us in whom we trust that he will so deliver us. So Paul was uh, basically talking about this overwhelming situation that he was in, almost to the point of death, either through persecution, you know, or through sickness, but things were really looking very bad. And that, that is when he really put all his eggs in one basket, that is, put his trust in God, uh, who is able to, who came through, was able to deliver, and will still continue to deliver. And this sentiment is also captured in Isaiah 40, verse 29. He gives power to the faint and increases the strength of the weak. So when you have those kinds of situations that, you know, things look basically impossible, there seems to be no light at the, at the end of the tunnel, things are dark, you know, that is when you should completely trust in God because he usually will come through just at the nick of time and he will give you know, uh, a victory that nobody else can take credit for. 